I have a problem, but I don't think I'm alone. I want to talk about collecting and getting caught up in getting caught up in collecting. As you can see here, we've got sets of knives. We've got production versions and their custom counterparts. We also have a couple of just customs because there is no production version. We've got kind of, this is not the really production version, but we've got kind of mid-tech and custom. I don't know. How did we get to where we are at? Hellraisers, I can blame Jim Skelton. He did a video on this specific knife, this particular knife, and I just had to have it. And then when he did a video on this exact knife, because this used to be his, I thought it was the greatest thing I'd seen. When I had the opportunity to get it, I had to get it. And it has since now caused a bigger problem because now I'm friends with Ed Kim, the owner of Red Horse Knife Works. And I've got several, I don't know, several customs, several productions, and Ed and I are working on a custom together. Yeah, it's a problem. I got this custom RJ Martin first. And then I love it so much. I didn't even know that there was a production version from ZT. But when I found out, I had to track one down and got it. Do you collect sets or do you not? Alex, my co-host on the EDC Hour, I'll put a link down below. He collects three knives from every maker. It's kind of his thing. Because why experience just one? He wants to have three of a maker or three of a brand to really check them out. And I think that's a great way to go. I got this pocket Ryu, the production version, first after meeting Edison at Custom California Custom Knife Show and hung out with him, had dinner and all that. And it wasn't until quite a while later that I had an opportunity to get a custom Ryu. I have not been able to score myself a custom um, Waka yet, which is his current latest model. Big knives, man, I don't know. I think we've said enough about big knives over the years. Everybody has. This is Big Red from Jim. Jim was selling it. I had to have it. I already had this one. And I love it. I don't carry it often now, though. Funny thing. I've evolved, I guess. I don't know. Evolved from a Todd Big. It just doesn't get the pocket time that it should. But yet I had to have this mid-tech and a custom one. I've also had a Steelcraft version, the True Productions, and I loved it too. I've just, at one point I had 14 or 15 bags of different varieties. The Battle, I've done a couple of videos specifically on this and talked about it being my Holy Grail knife. And still today, I mean, there are some other knives that I want, and I've bought several of these since getting this battle, including this smaller battle. But still, this has been my holy grail. This is my grail knife. I don't know that this one would ever get sold. I'm not going to say never because we know how life goes. But when I had an opportunity to get this smaller version, I jumped at it. Thank you, Eric, so much for selling this to me. This gets carried a lot. It just carries way better than this one. And I've talked about that in other videos. So this one I do carry and I use. I don't care. I don't care. I carry all of my custom knives. 
It just doesn't matter. This one is probably one that I carry the most of all of my knives. I don't know. As we wind down the end of the year of 2022, I will be doing a video on kind of not a state of the collection, but a just kind of a recap of where I am and what I bought in 2022, what I got rid of, things like that. I don't know. I think collecting is just an odd, weird thing. And there's no rhyme or reason. There's no wrong way to collect. But I want to know, how do you guys collect? Are you into multiples? Whether it's multiples of the same model? Like, I would really like the Bodega. Way better than the Field Marshal. Way better than the Quakens. Like, way better than other, any other model the Begs did. I really do like the Bodega. That's my model of choice. Same with Frank Fisher. The battle is the model of choice. I like the Fury. I like a couple of the other ones, but the battle is really what drew me in. Same with Red Horse. The Hellraiser. It's the model of choice. The Chopper is cool. There, You know, he makes a couple different models, but the Hellraiser is the model of choice. What are your thoughts on collecting? I mean, I have a lot of other knives, but I seem to collect sets or multiples of the same models. And I want to know what do you do? Do you collect the same maker like Alex? He'll have a couple of... I mean, He's got some red horse. He's got a couple of red horse knives. He's got several Benchmade, several Americans, several um, uh, South African knives from the same makers, things like that. Or do you collect a specific model? I'm very interested. This is kind of an open dialogue. And, and Alex and Professor EDC and some of my other YouTube friends, I encourage you to put together a video about kind of your collecting philosophy, if you will. I don't know. I don't know that I have a philosophy. I buy what I like and I carry everything that I buy for the most part. Something that's not out here on the table is Phil Harvey. I had to get a trifecta from Phil Harvey. So I have three of his. Frank Fisher will mention it again. His brother TJ makes knives and I have one. His dad, Todd Sr., makes knives, and I've got one. And I'm talking to Todd right now about another build for 2023. 2023 might be an expensive year. I don't know. Let me know in the comments your thoughts on collecting. And it doesn't need to be at any price range. It could be in the budget price range. Do you collect Kubis at $30 or $40, $50? Do you collect Best Techs? Do you collect Petrified Fish? Um, I don't know. Let me know down below your thoughts, how you collect, what you collect. I would love to just have some conversation about it. Thanks for watching, guys. Stay tuned for kind of a 2022 recap video, as well as just the normal videos that I'm normally putting out. So... Thanks, guys. Have a great day.